friends, it's Alana and welcome back to another Supernatural convention vlog series. This time we are heading to Supernatural Vegas 2022, which is surreal to say, honestly. So Vegas is the first one of 2022 for me. It's kind of weird, kind of symbolic. In 2020, the Vegas convention was the only Supernatural convention that year. And it was held in March, actually on the same weekend that it's being held this year. And that entire weekend and the week after it is just like permanently ingrained in my memory. It is so weird that it's the two year anniversary of that week and when everything kind of blew up with the pandemic and having that convention, like literally the weekend before the entire world shut down, I'm never gonna forget that. It, it was just so jarring to come back from that and have that happen. And then, you know, I was in LA at the time, I got sent home, I was still in college and now I'm living in LA permanently. Like I moved here, this is my apartment. Things are just so different now than they were then. And it's just very weird to be back here saying I'm going to the Vegas Supernatural Convention. So flashbacks out of the way, here is what is going on. For those of you who don't know, the Vegas Supernatural Convention is the only con of the year that is four days instead of three. So typically what ends up happening is Thursday will be pre-registration for a convention and then paneling will happen Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But in Vegas, pre-registration is Wednesday, which is today. And then there's paneling on Thursday as well as Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So there's four days of events instead of three. I am not going to be in Vegas for pre-registration tonight. I am flying in very early tomorrow morning. The plane ride from here to Vegas is like an hour. That's my plan currently today. I am still working. I started with some work this morning. It's about noon right now. So I'm actually gonna have to go out and get my COVID test in about an hour. I'm just gonna take y'all with me through my day of getting ready for the con and then heading there tomorrow morning. So welcome to the Wednesday, Thursday vlog. <laughs> so I am currently waiting for a file to get back to me for work and it is taking a hot second. So while I continue to wait for that to occur, I'm gonna start looking at clothing options for the con. I actually had an anxiety stress dream last night that I didn't have enough outfits for the convention. So we're gonna make sure that I do. Welcome to my closet. So I looked up the weather in Vegas and I gotta be honest, it was chillier than I was expecting it to be. So tomorrow in Las Vegas, it's still going to be 80 and then it is going to be in the 60s and 50s for the rest of the time that I'm there. So here are the outfits that I currently have laid out for the con. The main jacket I think I'm gonna bring this time is my brown leather jacket because I just feel like it goes pretty well with all the different outfits. I try not to bring too many jackets just because they're kind of bulky, they're hard to pack in a suitcase. For shoes, I'm gonna be bringing one pair of like dressier, pretty little boots. I'm gonna be bringing my white tennis shoes and I'm also going to be wearing just my sneakers on the plane. I did already start packing some stuff last night so you'll see I have my pajamas in here and then like my underwear and stuff. So I actually finished out my outfit picking just in the nick of time because I have to go run some errands now. It's around 1 p.m. I have a COVID test scheduled for 1.30 but I'm going to grab Starbucks first, get my COVID test, and then I have some returns to make to the Amazon Fresh store so I'm gonna do all of that and then I'm gonna come back here, finish the rest of my work. Hopefully by then the file that I need will be done. Fingers crossed, that's what's going on. Let's go get tested. Hi, do you still have the sugar cookie latte? back from my errands. I was able to drop off all of my returns at the Amazon Fresh store. I got my COVID test and I already have the results back. I'm negative. And of course I got my Starbucks. So before the holiday season last year, my go-to order was always a grande iced mocha with oat milk. But then the sugar cookie iced latte came into my life and I was convinced that they weren't going to carry it anymore because it was a seasonal drink, but it is March and they still have it. So now my order typically is a grande Grande sugar cookie iced latte with oat milk. So I always get it with oat milk and it literally tastes like a cookie and it's my favorite thing. Do you wanna place bets on if the file that I need is done or not? It's still not done. Oh my God. <laughs> While I'm still waiting for that to occur, I'm gonna go ahead and start packing up the suitcase. So far, I've just laid the outfits out on the bed. I'm gonna actually start putting things in the suitcase and you know what time it is? I think it's time for me to get Oinky down. Welcome back to my closet. So this is where Oinky chills when he's on vacation from a con. Honestly, I think he's never looked better. Oinky's excited to go back to Vegas. He's actually been to Vegas before. All the cons that he went to last year, he had never been to those cities before. Oinky, my little man is growing up. So here's his big 
amazing bow tie and here's his glittery cowboy hat that I got for him. Winky is the emotional support pig. Usually he'll be at the random max table. If you need a emotional support oink, <laughs> throughout the con, he's very helpful with that. Winky's hat has lots of glitter on it and it's very loose glitter, which as you know, gets into everything. So I am putting Winky's hat in a Ziploc bag for the journey. If the TSA agents ever open my suitcase, I feel like they have a field day with this. So my friend and roommate Lauren, she is just finishing up season one as a post PA for a show on HBO Max called Our Flag Means Death, which you should all go watch. It comes out March 3rd on HBO Max, so by the time you're seeing this video, at least the first three episodes will be out. But it's premiering tomorrow as of the filming of this video, so I am going to give her this little box. I got it. It has like a little pirate ship wheel on the front, and then it's got like some cute little seashells and stuff on the top so it looks like it's from the sea and then inside I have this little keychain for her it says to air is human and to R is pirate and then it's got like a little skull and crossbones on it so I am going to give this to her tomorrow for like a little premiere gift she's been working so hard on the show she has been with it since last summer she's very excited about it premiering so I just figured I would give this to her to congratulate her tomorrow Guess what finally came back? The file. The file came back. So I'm going to very quickly burn these captions into this video. Then I'm gonna send it off to my coworkers and I'm gonna finish up. I was learning some settings for this camera still, so I'm gonna finish up doing that. I'm gonna take a shower and hit the hay because I have to get up early. So there's the update. Very unfortunately, Lauren and I are awake. That means it's just about time to head to the airport. So let's go to Vegas. <laughs> passenger loading and unloading. No, I'm unloading a passenger, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this beautiful sky. Oof. It looks like cotton candy. Edible? No, probably not. Edibles. <laughs> Hello, I'm here in Vegas and I'm sitting at the random X table right now with Victoria. <laughs> Becky's gonna bring coffee at some point, which I think is fantastic. And uh, I haven't gotten my admission pass yet, but I did get my COVID wristband, which is good because you have to do that first. That's kind of what's going on. I think they're doing the welcome right now, so I'll pop in a little bit later and catch some panels. It's very weird that there's panels on Thursday. It is. The whole Thursday throwing me off yeah. completely. Oh, and Lauren's coming in. Lauren's on a plane right now. All good things. We do not have our tablecloth, so we're having people draw stuff. I'm gonna draw Winky. How do you draw a pig? <laughs> um, circle for the head, circle for the body. I might just do his face. Or that. That's probably There's much that. easier. I, I don't think I'm doing a good job. As soon as you get the pig nose, it'll be... It'll be at least somewhat noticeable. Uh, I made one of his eyes a lot bigger. I'm trying to figure out, like, how do I... Does he just have a... Does his mouth connect to his nose? Oh. Oh God, that's so cute. Is he uh, don't he, It's or, only... Or, yeah, you maybe even don't shade in. He looks so happy. Aww. <laughs> that's adorable. He's so cute. I have drawn Oinky successfully. He's... The actual Oinky's in my suitcase still, so that's why he's not here. Look, 
look, it's the not Eiffel Tower. Oh yeah, Lauren's here. I am here. <laughs> Lauren's here and we've found our way to this outdoor area. Giordano's for some reason, which like was a Chicago thing, but I guess it's here too now. My six Lauren. dollar water in the It was almost as expensive as this one. Lauren bought water for six dollars. For two dollars and fifty cents and I got water for six dollars and fifty cents. Later that same evening. So we've checked in. We're in our hotel room. It's thrilling. Lauren's already in bed. <laughs> I've been lying here for like an hour. <laughs> I've unpacked half my suitcase. I have not moved. That's our personalities and yeah. <laughs> just yeah. side by side. I was looking out the window and I found the Rio, which is where the convention used to be actually. So that red and, and blue building over there is the Rio. We're actually on the strip this time, so we can walk to a bunch of things, which is which is nice. That's probably something famous. Paris. <laughs> I think it's over there, because that's where the Paris. statue was. I'm pretty sure that hotel is Paris. Like, I, I'm not Bellagio. kidding. No, I thought the Bellagio was over there, next to Caesar's Wait. Palace. I'm What's like, nine building. I think that's Paris. That's literally called Paris? <laughs> yeah, it's like a hotel. I thought Paris was like, you know how like there's like Little Italy in Boston? Yeah. I thought that was like Paris in Vegas. But you were telling me Paris is like an actual hotel. I'm pretty sure. Huh. That is the Bellagio. <laughs> okay, but they, they look exactly the same. Yeah, they do. They, they look, look very, very similar. similar. So someone that's been to Vegas exactly three times and only for this purpose. Yeah, <laughs> same. They look very similar. So currently we're trying to figure out what to do for dinner. We have no plan at the moment. Well, all we know is that we want food and tequila, tequila, which I think is a good starting point. Lauren's on the floor. I am on the floor. I needed, my legs hurt. So Becky's coming down and we're going to make a plan of like where to go and what to do and where to get food and tequila. I got to the con and unintentionally missed all the panels because I was sitting at the random max table and then I went to get food and then by the time I got food, panels were pretty much over for the day because the panels were only on until 2.30. Becky! <laughs> Yes. 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 Um, we're gonna we're gonna do that. Not do we, this, but we're gonna eat. Do we also? <laughs> we're gonna turn into mother. We're gonna turn into ducks, <laughs> and then we'll eat. You're wrong. It's a little slanted. <laughs> it's not quite comfortable. This is not the album cover that we're looking for. Well, there's like a really inconvenient, like. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> there's a very inconvenient um, pointy Saved spot it. that's not in a good spot. Flashback. This is my first legal drink in a restaurant ever. I'm so excited. It's a vodka cranberry with orange juice. It's real good. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so proud. <laughs> what a time to be alive, guys. End of flashback. Now she's a professional. I am. I know how to do now and everything. <laughs> Success? Hell oh, yeah. That is pretty good. <laughs> We're getting tour guided all the way to Paris. Surprise, the convention's now in France. We took a plane ride. In the last hour. In the last hour. <laughs> in the last hour. Guys, we're in Paris. <laughs> Did you just say this is very unsettling? It is, because it's like we're outside, but we're not outside. tell you good night. Dinner, we went to a really wonderful nacho place and we got really big margaritas. Very large margaritas. Very, like goblet size. Like if you took the goblet of fire from Harry Potter and just like made it a little bit smaller, I feel like that's accurate to the margaritas that we just had. And then we came back and we went to Paris, the hotel, not 
the city. <laughs> Just, to <clarify. laughs> Just to clarify. We, we didn't get on a plane. Yet. We didn't go to another country. We went to the hotel. And then we got chocolate mousse type desserts, which was fantastic. I had an Oreo cheesecake truffle. And Lauren had a... It was like a s'mores, s'mores mousse pudding. Thing. Also, our hotel room looks very supernatural esque, does it not? A little bit, yeah. Like, it, I it's a uh, backsplash, looks like something that would be in it, supernatural. It does. Like one yes, of those motels. I can't think of which episode. That's all I really have to share with you. I hope you've enjoyed the Vegas adventures today. Be on the lookout for the Friday vlog, which is coming soon, I'm sure. As soon as I decide to edit it. <laughs> Future Alana, get on Any that. Anytime between. <laughs> Anytime between now and Indy. Three months. <laughs> it's never three no, it's months. Never. Until I just have a, a full time job, and sometimes it, it gets okay. busy. And yeah. like my full time job is and editing. You volunteer and you've got I a do. Lot going on. I have a lot of things. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next <laughs> time. I'm done. I'm done vlogging. <laughs> have a good night. Bye, everyone. Bye.